Umbria, the land of contradiction. It's known among the Italian people as the land of sacred and blaspheme. From this region came Francis of Assisi, the most misunderstood man of all the history of the church. He's the most important saint of the history of the church and yet is the most washed out, overlooked saint of the history of the church. There is various reasons. I'd like to tell you a story about Francis of Assisi. Francis, uh, and the story of Francis uh, meeting the wolf of Gubbio. Francis is walking right up on the mountains of uh, Gubbio when all of a sudden he hears some peasants screaming down below in the valley, help, run away, every man for himself. The monster is here, the slaughter is, is here, run away, everybody. What's happening, Francis asked. Uh, and there is the wolf, the wolf from Gubbio, a monster, a lion. Uh, don't exaggerate, a lion. Well, I don't know much about lions, but damn, that face looks like a crocodile. When he opened his jaws wide, in front of you, phew, with a single bite, he tore a lamb apart, sees a dog, and chopped it up like meat for stuffing. <laughs> what a fright! When he looks at you with his tremendous eyes, he makes your blood curdle. Oi, you might not know anything about lions, but we crocodiles, you are part of the family, eh? Listen, you say that he's on you, but I don't see a wolf. Tell me, where is this beast coming from? There, Francis, there. He's coming down from the hill. There. Well, it's only small, says Francis. Well, it's a matter of perspective. Wait till he gets near, you will see it. Western Pizzetti. You have just heard the story, one of the most famous episodes of the life of Francis of Assisi. Francis meeting the wolf. Now the story that I would like to tell you is uh, a completely unknown story. It's been washed out throughout the ages for centuries. Uh, only about 100 years ago this story was found in a monastery in French by the Franciscan brother of Assisi. And it's the story of Francis, the tirade is called, the harangue of Francis as delivered in Bologna, 15 of August 1222, in a big square of Bologna in front of 5,000 people. The story is about Bologna being a war with all the nearest city. The, the entire region of Emilia Romagna is a war, a complete bloodshed. How came Francis began to entertain the people there in Bologna? He is coming from Umbria, he doesn't speak the Bolognese dialect, not at all. As a great man of gesture and theatre, he completely changed the subject. He will praise the Bolognese people, telling them how good you are, Bolognese. The way that you make war and the way that you kill each other, nobody better than you can do it. And the vantage, says Francis, that there is in making a war, getting territory, land, property, uh, making off with women, money, you will become rich. Everybody that will come from abroad to buy your weapons, you will build better weapons so you can kill each other. Francis, delivering a speech in Bologna, 15 of August, 1222, he begins, he begins by calling the Bolognese people Neapolitans. Così, just like that, just to make him fun. Neapolitans, here I am. Oh, what a joy, what a gusto for me to be here with you. Neapolitans, marvelous armed men you are. You jump like a ferocious beast in combat and how taught you are when you go to war. You battle and fight, shouting on horseback, bomb them off, bomb them off. Murder, quarter, spike, behead, come on, come on. Bravo, well done, Neapolitans, good people, courageous. Hearty. Eh? And, um, what? Ah, uh, Bolognese, what a lovely race. Such a long time you've been at war against the Imolesi, that infamous ugly race. So well down, you bust them down, those bastards. Like mad, you clash. <laughs> Fight, murder, quarter, spy. Go, oh, well done. Oh, I saw a soldier dragging a woman. Come here, you. Come here. No, let me go, you pig. Come here. And he brought her up a tower. <laughs> And the little child was screaming and yelling, Mother, Mother, come here, you little one. Here, go and see your mom. <laughs> then at night time, you Bolognese went mad. You went right in front of the biggest door of the main entrance of Imola, tied long ropes. You and ing the door and pulled it down, took it to your biggest square and set it up as if it was a monument. <laughs>
the biggest door of the main entrance of the city of Imola right there in your biggest square oh bravo well done Bolognese and what then a bit of peace some rest no never the Pope came Innocent the third nicknamed the warrior he was raging mad at the Cathars, those bloody Provencal from the from south of France who were going around saying about him, that one is not the Pope, he's the Antichrist. He only thinks about women having castle, land, property. He's the anti-Pope. Oh, they should have never said that. Pope Innocent the Third had all the saints spinning around his head. He mounted a horse, charged with a long spear, and dragged the French army against the Albigenses. And you too, Bolognese, yes, <laughs> you too went right behind him, riding and shouting, chanting and murdering. Baby, sitting home, baby, the segula ne ne usa me ne pshia, me ne sirati me ne pshia. Amen! And then you came back from France, from Provence. Very few, many more were buried there, killed in those foreign fields. And those who were coming back were marching proud with their chest out, marching, all strutting there. Well, what? No, 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 not exactly like this, because many of them were lame. One with a foot chopped off, another one without an arm. Proud they were, marching with their chest up, leaning a bit to one side, crooked like. <laughs> and then a bit of peace, some rest. No, never. Alarm! What's happening now? Alarm! What's happening now? The Muslims, the Muslims have come from the Holy Sepulchre, the Holy Grave. They robbed the Holy Sepulchre and off they went again. Pope Innocent III called out to the Christian from all over Europe, from France, from Germany, from Spain, from England, even from Denmark. They all came down, crossing our country, went down south to the port of Brindisi, loaded up ships with arrows, shells, horses, arrived there, crossed the Mediterranean Sea in Palestinian land. Hey, get out of here! Christ is only ours! What a holy massacre! 6,000 killed, 6,000 dead, <laughs> 6,000 new graves to free one empty grave. <laughs>